All right, gonna do a little haul. I got absolutely no clips. I just went to Dollar Tree and then I popped into a thrift store and it was just packed. So I didn't wanna like, you know, be in anybody's way. I went to get some books and I'm super excited because I found some really good ones. Like, ooh, look how pretty that is. Um, I'm gonna put this in my dining room for my shelves. So I always face them this way. So I'm really kind of like looking at this rather than this. Um, here's another one. I was trying to get a bunch of like creamy neutrals. And then I did get a bright green one. And yeah, those are the only books that I got for my dining room. So there's that. I don't know where I put any of this. But then I found some really cute books that I thought I would craft with. Um, this one is super adorable, the big balloon race. I just really liked the images. I thought they were so stinking cute. Like, let's see, like, look at that. So pretty. I don't even know like if I want to craft with this. It's just so pretty. Um, then I found a freaking Mary Inglebright book. I about passed out. Um, I definitely am going to craft with this. So I kind of went through, got some Mary Inglebright images. I, yeah, this is going to get crafted with for sure. So I'm so excited for this find. And then I found this, Better Homes and Garden. Like this is got, like what print is this? 1981, that's my birthday year. I don't even know if like I'll want to cut into this um but if I do it'll be like a couple of pages I'll try to keep most of it intact but this is the most beautiful book that I did get to craft with to junk journal with um and yeah like what a stunning book like I can't believe I found that then I found this one southern living like a Christmassy one I'll also craft it I truly like the whole recipe look um, so I thought it was such a pretty book and I actually wanted to like find some like jewelry pieces for my junk journals, like brooches, brooches and stuff. I don't know why I'm like, that's coming out of my mouth weird. Um, and then I was just like in the checkout line and I found two polo shirts. So I got them. It's basically what they look like. There's nothing else. They're shirts. So I thought they were really cute. I love Ralph Moore, so that's what I got. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. All right, so now I'm going to go. I actually meant to like have a bigger date on the house, but I just, yeah. So I don't know, I'm thinking I might go to the beach and just kind of like look at the ocean for a bit, but I didn't bring a chair or anything, so. I don't know. It's a warmer day, so it would have been nice for it, but I'm thinking maybe I'll like do a little beach moment tomorrow. Um, instead, I'm gonna just go home and like just chill. Just have a good day, like journaling, cause I have the day off. Um, I pre-filmed, so you know, I can kind of relax. What I really needed to do was like drive to a Home Goods because I wanted to find wrapping paper for Micah's birthday. And I want to do like a floral. I got this one from Dollar Tree. I just don't know if it's the right one that I want to use just yet. Um, but it'll be like my backup in case I don't find like the right floral print. Oh boy. store right here. Um, I also need to get an oil change in this car. Alright, I'm actually starting a vlog, or I really don't know at this point, but I normally don't pick up the camera this late at night. It's actually Loki's time for bed. My stomach's bothering me because I have pasta. Pasta is one of those things on my list that I can't really eat anymore because... I just, 
y'all know my stomach journey. I'm tired of my stomach hurting. And guess what? My stomach hurts. But I haven't had pasta in a while, so I knew it was going to happen. So there it is. I just spent the night editing a vlog. So while that loads, I'm going to go ahead and turn off my lamps in my office. And I'm going to start my nighttime routine. I did clean the kitchen, so... Well, some of it. I just realized I have more to do. I just cleaned all that. And I just need to do the dishes and wipe down the countertops over here. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and get Loki to bed. I'm very tired. I don't know why, honestly, I'm vlogging because usually I don't vlog this late at night because... <laughs> I feel like I'm too tired to make anything exciting sometimes. So. That sound that you hear is my little air filter. And honestly, it's way too puny to probably do anything, but it's become like my sound machine. It's not really become my air filter anymore. That's why it's on the ground. Um, so yeah, so anyways, gotta close the curtains, especially when it's cold. I've noticed though the windows here are really good. They're clearly brand new. Um, so the house really keeps in the heat and it keeps in AC when it needs to. So that's really good, but I still like closing the curtains anyways, cause it just makes it, cause this room doesn't get any of the AC or the heat. <laughs> which I think I've talked about before, but basically um, it goes all into the living room because the living room has those big windows. So I would have to like sh close some of the vents there, but even when the AC guy explained this to me, I'm not gonna lie, I still kind of call BS on that because an AC unit that is put into a home should be properly should function properly to the square footage of that home. So if you don't get a proper AC unit that can't compute to the, AC, to the square footage, like, so I just don't know that I understand, like this room's freezing because even with the door open, like I keep my door open all day and it just, whatever, for whatever reason, the heat just doesn't really travel that much in here. But now I know I'm, tired because I'm complaining about <laughs> I'm complaining about the AC guy that was here when I kind of first moved in because I was just like why is this room so hot because you know it's summertime at the time okay kennel go night night go go on you, you're going the wrong way if you go there I'm really annoyed that my stomach hurts so I'm annoyed at myself. I just wanted some pasta. Like, let me eat some pasta without problems. Mm. <laughs> Loki's got the quilt on that half just because it's by the door and the window, just to keep him a little warm. But I've been on a um, Melissa and Joey kick, and it's on Hulu. So I'm almost getting to the end there's only four seasons so i'm on season three episode 25 <coughs> after this i'll put on either fraser or golden girls before i go to bed once i get loki put up i then come back and close the lights i can't update this because i guess you can't really count down from how high up it goes because there's no like three on both and there's no five or four on this probably made no sense but we're getting there this one has a two and a one and a zero so once we get down to 32 days i can flip it so all right then Ooh, thrilling stuff on this vlog huh Okay, we're gonna stop that, turn that light off, turn this little 
tree off. And I'm going to go ahead and fix this. All right, there we go. Now that's going to bother me. Anyone else? No, whatever. All right, so nice and clean. So I'll wake up to a super clean living room, which is good because I've got stuff to do tomorrow. I gotta film and I wanna go to Walmart. Like I'm just in the mood, you guys, to have a good little Walmart trip. I'm gonna be shopping for stocking stuffers and just anything. You know, just like one of those Let's just see where the where the wind takes me. Also, I need to do that. So let me do that really quick. All right, all done got my water for the night and I'm just gonna oh more lights I know it's dark I don't feel like putting on any lights but I'm debating on whether or not I want to shower before bed I know I need to, just pollution and all that on your skin. Yeah, I guess I'm taking a shower when I put it like that. Let's go get some pajamas. And hopefully all this walking around, all this moving around will help my stomach. Plus, let's go get my, my digestive thing. I, I always forget my little trick, so, but. Pineapple juice. That means I'm gonna have to eat pretty clean tomorrow. Cause that would be way too much on my stomach. Let's grab a cute little glass. This little like vintage mason jar glass is from Amazon, it's so cute. But yeah, so if you ever feel like digestive issues or whatever some pineapple juice might help it helps me i feel like it gets my stomach moving a little bit so i just need to change my diet and add more fiber so all right now let's go pick out my pjs you know what let's do these i have not worn these yet i got them from amazon it's like pants. It's very much giving Victoria's Secret vibes because, you know, black and pink. But I really want to go for something more comfortable. Actually, let's do the polka dot set. Yeah. Just because this one will be kind of a little bit see-through on camera. So we'll just do that one. out of the shower and I'm really happy that I decided to take one when in doubt just just do it you'll, you'll have a much better sleep you know it's like just take the makeup off just do the skincare routine just take the shower and something that I like to do too is like I'll try to do my routines like an hour before bed or like before I'm tired then you're guaranteed to do it more likely because by the time you're ready to go to bed you're ready to go to bed so FYI, whoever needs that little tip. But all right, super cute little pajama set from Amazon. I'll link it down below. I think it comes in a two pack. Yeah, and in my two pack, it came this and that pink one. I went and slugged my face. I think that's what it's called, but I put Vaseline all over it, even on my neck. And I'm gonna go sip my pineapple juice. 
I need to go get my Kindle. I want to read. I want to read my Blue Alien books. I'm going to finish drinking my pineapple juice. And then I'm going to brush my teeth and put my over aligners back in. I'm on week three. Even though I've been on my week three aligners, this will be my second week because Loki ate my second week aligners the day that I had to put in my second week aligners. So I finished week one. I go to put in my second week aligners. I take them off to eat lunch and I left them on the counter and Loki got up there, grabbed them and ate them. Didn't know what to do, so I thought, let me just put in my week three aligners. It hurt, but it worked. And so, cheers to that, I guess. I don't know. This is why I don't really vlog late at night. Let's go get my Kindle. I feel like I'm saying Kindle. My Ken and Barbie doll. Kindle. 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 And since I'm in my office, I'm just going to check on my vlog. Okay. Yeah, it tends to like upload a lot slower when the computer goes to sleep. So I need to kind of like wake it up, let it process again. But okay, let's go read. Okay, so I know you guys aren't in the best spot, but I don't have my tripod for any of this. Um, I gotta see what book I need to read next, because I don't know what's next. And it's like, I don't know, my Kindle doesn't really make that part clear to me, so I just like type in the search. But Ice Planet, Barbarians, there's a rubydixon.com. If you go there, it'll, it gives you like the straight order list. Um, I tried to read Farley's story and I'm going to be honest. I just like, I just immediately almost passed up on it. Her story is called Barbarian's Choice. Um, Farley's actually one of the female blue aliens. So I just, uh, yeah, I passed up on it. So I guess what's next is... Barbarian's Redemption. Whose story is that? Who's left? In a tri full of happy couples, I'm alone. Who's alone? Oh, a, a, a guy. But I'm content to remain this way. There are no eligible unmated females left. So, yeah, who's... Who does he meet? It's an it's a human girl in the photo. Ooh. Okay. Barbarian's redemption it is. You'll thank me someday. I don't think I will. Gloves or tongs or something. Don't worry, okay? She gets fussy. Turn on the twinkle. She loves them. So press this button for lights only. Press this one 